Hello? This is not working. Hello? The f Why? Why? Why does this happen? I'm talking to you. I'm talking. Hello, we are Katie and Scott. Our goal is to make it to full-time RV. But in the meantime, we'll have to continue building our life, this time older and wiser. Hey, and welcome back. We are in the truck today. Yay! Headed out to get our camper, Jane. We're breaking it out since uh, winter storage hit. Uh, we're not actually going camping today. Uh, we're just taking it up to the dealer to do our annual um, inspections that they do, to check out the roof and some other stuff. And we've got some warranty work, you know. Uh, you find all these things as you get into uh, camping with it and using it. So we have an outlet that is pulling out of the wall yep. um, from day one, that's weird. And then we have a light over the table that comes apart every time we move it. Every time we move the trailer, it shakes apart. And we have stripped screws in the dining window. And the biggest thing is the back door. Right. There's a, a big dent or uh, it's kind of bubbling out around the frame of the back door. Um, our trailer's got this cool little back door that you can um, you hold up the bottom bunk and you can stick things in there, kayaks, bikes, yep. just luggage, whatever. We use it all the time, yes. love it. Uh, but it, anyway, the frame's got a dent in it. We didn't put it there, we noticed it the first time we were camping and we're kind of wondering, did, did it happen in the storage lot? What was going on? Um, fortunately, the dealer still had the listing up for our particular camper and we saw in the photos you could very clearly see the the dent in the in the frame so it came from the dealer like that um nobody noticed it we didn't notice it they didn't notice it it happens uh but they were pretty cool about it i called them up a couple months ago to schedule this inspection wanted to make sure we got in nice and early and um sent them the photos explained the deal they were totally awesome about it and ordered us a frame and they're gonna go ahead and replace that today hopefully all the other little minor issues that need to be fixed. Right. So we're hoping that everything's okay. I'm a little nervous. Uh, I do not uh, have a lot of experience towing. Um, Jean, our trailer. Uh, it's the first thing I've ever towed that's not been a little flatbed trailer. And even that was only a, a one-time deal. So, Today I'm, a, I'm a, a little on edge, a little nervous about hooking it back up and um, figuring out that whole process yeah. and, and towing it and hopefully not, you know, wrecking. It's not going to happen. <laughs> not going to happen. It'll be fine. We got this. Yes, we got this. All right. So anyway, I'm in the gas station getting gas. Um, we'll check back in when we get to the trailer and see how the hookup process goes. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> All right. So our camper is named Jane. Uh, spelled J-A-Y-N-E and it is, um, there's a backstory to this. It is Jane the Hero of Campin. And if you are a sci-fi person, you may have heard of a show called Firefly. And if you haven't, you should look it up. I think the episodes are still on Netflix. They only did one season and I love Firefly. Um, there's a reason that Malcolm is named Malcolm. He's after the main character of the show. And we named our trailer after one of the other characters of the show. Um, the truck is named River after yet another character. My car is named Simon. Um, so we have a little, a little bit of, a, of an addiction to, to that show. And they even made a movie too, but you gotta watch all the series first. So um, one of my to-do projects for this spring is to make uh, some decals for the back of the trailer that says Jane, the hero of Campin. And so hopefully I actually need to order them. I'm going to use heavy duty marine vinyl so that it stays on. <laughs> so I need to, I need to place that order maybe this week so it shows up and we can get our decals on before we take our first camping trip. So there's the story of Jane, the hero of Campin and how we named our trailer. 
So we got to the RV place, the storage place, and our trailer is not in the pickup lot. So um, we pulled in and there's an Airstream blocking it so we can't even get hitched up to it. Usually what happens is that we call and we tell them we want to pick up our trailer on this date and they use their tractor to move it to the pickup lot and then we just back in and hitch up and go and that's also where we drop it off when we want to put it back in storage. Um, so I'm not sure where the miscommunication came in or if they're short staffed. Um, so now we just wait. What are you doing? Oh, hooking our battery back up. Yeah. Cold is the killer of batteries, so they say. So where has this battery been living all winter? In our garage, um, hooked up to a trickle charger to keep it fresh. Um, I'm sorry, a pickle charger? <laughs> ah, trickle. Trickle, okay. Trickle charger, yeah. So. That we got on Amazon for like 20 bucks. Woohoo! And it worked out great. I had to jump our neighbor's battery the other day and they used this one to do it and it was perfect. So our battery is still juicy. Yes, very much. Fantastic. <laughs> what are we going to do after this? Well, um, you did a walk around, right? I did. All right. And I saw that screw. This is not supposed to be sticking out. Yeah. It is not supposed to be like that. Yep. What are we gonna do after that? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what I'm not gonna do. What? Is I'm not gonna hook up the red power cord to the negative ground terminal. That's bad, huh? Yeah. Well, the, they put that's, a little plus on the red wire. Shouldn't yeah. that go right there where the plus is? Yeah, that's... Uh, I've, I've always been told to hook up the negative first. I don't know how true that is. I don't know if that's a thing, but that's what I have decided to do here. But um, the... Uh, oh, I see what it is out there. Um, the problem is, is that I'm paying attention to you in this video. <laughs> not what I'm doing. Oh, it's easy to pay attention to me. I'm cute. You are cute. Oh, it's cold out here. It is. Why don't you take everybody for a quick tour of the outside of the camper? Give it one more uh, look. All right, I can do that. As soon as the lighting readjusts here. This is our Apex Ultralight. Isn't it pretty? Scott wants to replace the stairs and we're getting the keyless entry door done this year. There's Malcolm's bunk. So here is the door damage um, that we are having replaced. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> Here's it flat and there it dips down. So right here, it looks like this was backed into something. Um, not by us, <laughs> not by us. So the door frame and the door I, itself, I think are being replaced. Um, oh, there's our, there's our KYD sticker. Here's the other side. I checked the tires and they look okay. This one back here might be a little low, but I'm not too worried about it. We'll check the pressure for sure, but yeah. It is a mighty fine looking setup. So we're on the road with uh, Jane in tow. Yes. And the, uh, the process took a little while to come back to it, us. It did. Um, we did not bring our checklist, which was unfortunate. Uh -huh. We were very rushed this morning, and that was a poor choice on our part to schedule it for this time. But that's okay. We got it worked out. We figured out everything. We remembered all of our lessons learned from last year. Yes. 
and it's scary. It's terrifying. It yeah. is absolutely terrifying. Yeah, it is uh, very nerve-wracking to be doing this. And I am just hoping that we figure it all back out again. So we just dropped Jane off at the dealership and we thought it was going to be a, kind of a wait and take home today kind of deal. Uh, that was what the service tech had kind of indicated over the email. You know, she asked if we were going to wait for it I said, sure, why not? But apparently it's going to be a couple weeks, so that's fine. We weren't going to use it um, and we'll have to go pick it back up. I walked through everything with them. I felt a little petty going over every little thing, but at the same time, we bought it less than six months ago. So I think that it's worth it. It's in there, it's it's in the shop. But, you know, a lot of that is gonna have to be warranty work. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And they had mentioned something about an estimate for the cost of replacing that door frame, and I told them, I said, no, that's, that's warranty. I've got all sorts of proof that that came off the lot like that, you know. And if, if I had done it, like if I had backed it into something, there would be damage somewhere else. Yeah. Um, so hopefully we don't have to go round and round with that. And I'll just fix the frame. Um, he did say the frame could take up to six weeks to get in, which is why, you know, what was it back in December? Yes. When we made this appointment um, and I was emailing with the service tech, uh, she had me take the serial number off the, the door frame. There's a sticker on there. And I sent that to her. And, she said that she'd be able to get the door frame order. Yeah, we made a special trip out to the storage lot to get that number, too. Yeah. So, so far, so good. I mean, this dealership has gotten a lot of really good reviews. Um, we've had a couple friends that have used them. The, their service department gets pretty good reviews. We've had really good experiences with them so far. Yes. But this will be the big test when it's... When it's their money on the line and not ours, yeah. do they do they still uh, do they still treat us well? Do they still take care of everything like they said they were going to? I have faith. Yep. I think they will. I think so too. So um, we will continue this video when we go pick up Jane. Yeah.